So, you know, uh, as of lately, there's been a lot of toxic relationships that have been going viral. You know, Lil Meech and, what's her name, Summer Walker? Uh, you got Blueface and Chris Sean. You know, there's just a lot of toxicity in the world today. Okay. Uh, I want to ask the panel, why are so many toxic relationships popping up and why are people, con you know, continuing to get into toxic situations? And we're going to start with Miss Tika. We're going to start with you. So I want to say that really, like, the toxic stuff is trending because most people are in toxic relationships. Everybody was faking it. You know, they had the Hustables as role models, but everybody was trying to be there, and they really wasn't. And, you know, once T.I. lost that with the family hustle, that was it. It was out the window. It's like, just be who you are and what it is, and that's what we got going on. So, Bill Cosby lied to us. He did, and you see what happened to him. I, I, hold on. But God accusations. Bless I don't think I don't think Bill did that, but we ain't gonna go into that. That's a whole nother topic. We we, we gonna we gonna get to that. Uh, but you're so you're basically saying that people are living their truth, and their truth is toxic. Absolutely, and I I say like Glorilla, I'm light skinned and I'm toxic, so it is what it is. Oh, oh okay. Get, 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 get ugly money. Okay, Miss China Red, what you think about these toxic relationships? You seem to like them. Yeah, since you want to put me on black. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. so the negative gonna always outweigh the positive in any in industry. That's how that goes. Everybody know TV is fake. So it's up to you to sit there and watch TV and dictate if that's gonna be your life. You know what real is when you sit inside your family home and you seen how your grandparents worked out. You seen how your parents worked out. You seen how your sister relationships worked out and everybody else around you. You only make your situation worse if you dictate to be like them. You can always change it. It's up to you. So if you choose to go that route, that's on you. You can't fault nobody else but yourself. I'm just gonna say, ain't nothing toxic unless you make it toxic, because it takes two to be toxic, not just one. Okay. We hear all that goddamn Martin Luther King Jr. bullshit. I'm being honest. <laughs> now, mind you, they Sound said good. light skinned women are toxic. It ain't got nothing to do with no color of your skin. You are who you are at the end of the day. I can be toxic, I can be cool, Wait. I can be loving. <laughs> It's on you. Hold up. I want to say something for the light skin women right here. Light skin women like to suck good dick and make they niggas stay in bed at night. I ain't got nothing to do with the toxic. If I'm giving you morning. everything that you asking for, then you the nigga that's toxic if you can't stay down with me. Okay. Okay. You know what? Hold I me like, up. I like your answer. I have Hold up, bitch. To do. I have nothing. Hey, I'm not triggered at all. That was a great answer. These niggas don't want to be kept. That's all that is. Okay. 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 I feel like it's the niggas too. Because in both those situations, both the niggas did wrong. So, you feel me? You, you got to do the math. There's something going on right there. I mean, but this is how I look at shit, though. When I'm in a relationship, I don't look at it to be like, you know, I want a polygamy relationship because I don't want my dude to have to go and cheat on me. I like, hold on, like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Woo! Yeah, we're going to have on. us. We're going to have us. Hold on, hold on. Let's rewind. We're going to have us. Say it like side, you mean it. Yeah? So, he don't got to go cheat. What kind like, of relationship you want, baby? Huh? What kind of relationship? Say it proud. I want you to say it proud. <laughs> what kind of relationship? Like you want? Hey. Don't say it. Ain't nothing but shit. How you say it? Nah, baby. What kind of relationship? Oh, polygamy. Thank no, you. I, hey, baby. Well, we, can, we can hit the polygamy. His and hers and hers. That's what I want. His, hers, and hers. That's exactly okay. what I want. Because, like, why? Why you feel like you own somebody? You feel me? You going to be feeling like that? Like, trying to hold this person to something that they not. Let them be who they is. And the man nature is for y'all to be an animal. Y'all gonna always multiply. Y'all gonna always go out and look for more. Why not you know have, why? have that mindset already? I don't care about you niggas. You know why? Because it's cool when they do it. Bed. It's a problem when we do it. Fuck them. Yeah. 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 I don't really care to fuck multiple niggas. So, so, so Hazel, so Hazel, this, this in your polygamy relationship, um, do you want two men or two women? To a man and another woman, me, my man, and another woman. Okay, okay. I'm good. I might slip out the back door from time to time if I'm gonna do two women. You say you gonna do what? Slip out the back door from time to time. Oh, you gonna slip out the back door? Why not? They doing it. 
But if he's in a relationship, a committed relationship with you, if me, you, and Hazel are in a committed relationship, then we're in a committed relationship together. Cool, but who, who, who's to say Hazel ain't out doing what she doing when we ain't around her? Well, that's the whole purpose. of We don't play the game to lose. We play the game to win. But everybody ain't in it to win. Some people in it to do some stupid shit. But if you're in a relationship, why would you be in a relationship with someone that you can't trust? You shouldn't even be there. Are you still in a relationship, Nietzsche? No. Oh, they failed then. I sent her so ass back to the problem. Wow. But the whole but but the whole but the whole time the whole time that I was with her, I trusted her. I didn't have no problem with with with, with I ain't trying to on spot. Calm down, my boy. I no, I'm you good. Know. You good. I'm just saying. And, and why is you slipping out the back door? If we didn't have an <laughs> agreement, <laughs> and like we have ready a, for it. Here, here's the motherfucking deal. There it is. <laughs> Talk to him, sir. Women love niggas that cheat, and I'm gonna explain what I mean. Oh, I'm gonna explain what I mean. Turn his mic. All right. Women don't want a dude that ain't got no hoes. Let me explain that. Women don't want no dude that other women don't want. You gotta have proof that okay. you can have me. Do these bitches want you? Because if these bitches want you, I think you're sexy now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now saying that, let's get on over here to this side of it. Now, women cheat because they get bored and they're not getting enough attention. Get, get, get ugly, you know what I'm saying? Now, saying that, if you a nice, great, perfect guy, she's gonna be happy and content and comfortable, but after a while, she's gonna get bored. And the nigga that cheats keeps her, emo her emotions like this. She don't know what the fuck going on. She don't understand what the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm sad, but I'm not bored. I love this nigga. Yeah. I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking me. I'm confused. I'm I'm emotional. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then that's why they always take him back because the the perfect guy, he just boring. He a square. And just, it'd be like always that. said, do you want to cry in a Honda or a Bentley? And you know, and that's fucked up because you know niggas with money, we we do try to control y'all with it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot. Uh, if a woman gets used to her living situation, she with a nigga with some money, and she she want to be treated right, and he can threaten her to be like, man, why is you question? Why is you fuck me? I can just end this shit. Really, you can go back to your life where you was at. You wow. ain't. Yeah. And she and be like, and she like, oh no, I want to go back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it just. <laughs> You know, nah, so that's it, lame as hell. It, it, it is, it's lame. That's it's lame. lame. It's lame. But women gotta do better. Than why is it lame, Miss Tika? Cause like that's why I advise 2023. Like you know what I'm women is powerful right now. We got businesses. Like we entrepreneurs, influencers, and all that. Even no matter what you're doing, like you're a boss. You got a vagina. First of all, women birth everything. So we the ones that can stop this shit at any time. If we just say we don't want nothing else to go down, guess what? No more people, men, women, nothing. So we got the power, and but it's just what, what it is. 2023 got sassy niggas, oh, though. There's a flip side to that. Most women who have their own businesses, who are entrepreneurs and all that, millionaires, no they got that way because they had to be in a male-dominated field, and they are more masculine. You know what That's I'm saying? That's true. They like, I know how to handle niggas. I know how to tell niggas what to do, how yeah. to get my work done. And I know all how that. to be submissive. And then baby. the dudes, we don't want them manly bitches. You know what I'm saying? Real <laughs> talk. You you know what them boss bitches be single as fuck. And they be looking good too, but they just like, they hella fucking. Got too much going on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But and you got niggas now that are intimidated by women that can be submissive and can listen. Why would he be intimidated? That don't make no sense. No, that don't make no sense. You must have ran across. That's an oxy. What's that word? Oxymoron. Yeah, that's one of them. Why would a man be intimidated? Why would a man be intimidated? Why would a man be intimidated if you're being submissive? I know what she meant. The word intimidated was wrong. What you meant was, I can't think of the word right now. But if you're too perfect to a dude, he'll run over you. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, but. Not not intimidated insecure. by a girl that's insecure. Insecure, yeah. yeah. So what, 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 hold on, hold on. Why are men insecure, um, Miss Tika? Like really, I think when you got everything you want, like men are naturally they always trying to get the next thing and really competitive. So it's like if they right. got the ultimate woman, she cook, she clean, she suck dick, she good with business, whatever. Then it's like, well, damn, what now? 
And so it's like, it's in y'all nature to fuck up. Y'all just gonna fumble the bag. In our nature. Oh, I, I agree. disagree. Oh, yes, I, I disagree. agree. Oh, hey, you no, know what? To be honest with you, I hate that toxic shit. Let's get off. You know what? Let me do my piece. I hate toxic shit, and I wish the shit would be gone. Get it out the in the fucking toxic. community. Everything about it pissed me the fuck off. All this toxic, toxic, doing dumb up. ass shit that you know you're not supposed to be doing, breaking shit, tan up shit, doing reckless ass shit. Talking about this in the name of love. I hate it. Find a fucking wall and you a crash test dummy run into it. I hate all that shit. Talk Toxic shit need to get out of our community. We trying to regulate. No, no, it don't. I don't want to hear that shit. Sex be better all the way, everywhere. Sex, 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 sex. I don't give a shit about that. I'm tired of that toxic shit. Stop trying to normalize that weird ass shit. Stop trying to normalize that weird ass behavior. Stop trying to normalize being a grown motherfucker acting like you 15, 14 because you can't get your motherfucking way. I don't like that toxic shit. That's my personal opinion. Is a motherfucking 2023. My name. If you want to talk good. about it, well, guess what? Tell them about it. This good. one they heard done. They guess what? Is, they they well, fucking guess what? face done. They body rub out. Guess what? Bitches can't even get a foot rub because the nigga want his back rub 24 seven. Fuck you talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Bees, right y'all, whatever it takes, yeah, you still I want it to. I don't know about that weird ass uh, shit. Okay then. With all that toxic shit, dead. Y'all cut that shit, man.